look at the light. Light is so good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Prime Analog Records. I'm Matt, and we're still going through this uh, huge haul of, uh, of records that I got from the storage unit. Um, thanks for the information on this. That's what's playing in the background. Uh, one, of my, one of my followers um, actually told me about this, and it's actually, it sounds incredible. It's, a, it's Ambrosia. And it is, uh, I think it's their very first album. It's T434. And it's, uh, uh, but he told me all about it. Here's the, here's the back of it. And here's the front of it. And he told me about it and he said that it was mastered. <laughs> the reason why it sounds so good is because it was mastered by Doug Sachs, which is not a big shocker there. But, uh, all right, so we're going to start going back through some more of these. Um, this one just came out on Record Store Day. Obviously, this is an this is an OG. It's Todd Rundgren, and it is what's what's it called? It's called uh, something anything, um, and it's it sounds great too. It is. Uh, it was. I, I was just watching a channel just uh, just just uh, a couple of days ago. He said that this is the only thing he wanted when he went into the store. Um, on record store day so anyway here we go um, I've categorized a few of these like this one right here this just came out everybody knows what this is uh, this is the the newest one from, uh, from UHQR that Chad Kasim did and this is an OG um, this is uh, can't buy a thrill Steely Dan and uh, it's in great shape. The only thing is there's a little bit of damage over here and a little water damage and humidity or whatever it was, I don't know. But still, it's in great shape. The, the album sounds brand new. Um, you know, I keep hearing you guys talking about um, your OGs and stuff don't sound so good or so, there's, there's an issue with them. And I have to tell you, I mean, it's like the, the savior for me has been this uh, ultrasonic cleaner. I've uh, I've talked about it. I've made videos about it. I've actually uh, I've got several of my subscribers out there who have gotten the exact same unit and have amazing results with it too. So um, you know, just just a heads up, and just uh, you know, consider it because it can revive your entire or renew your entire collection. Um, you know, these things sit around for a long time and they have static and and get impacted dirt and grime and all that kind of stuff in there and it's like that's no good um, but you shouldn't throw it out I heard Melinda Murphy talking today about that she had you know some albums that she she was gonna she couldn't play and they didn't sound right and all this kind of stuff and I'm telling you I, I I'll bet you anything that I could put them through one bath of, of ultrasonic and it would probably change everything for her um, um, she, I think she only uses the vinyl vac and stuff like that, which 
that doesn't get deep enough in the grooves and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you've got to get the, the, the gunk that comes out of these things is absolutely amazing. All right, moving forward, here's another Steely Den. Um, this is a white label promo, Countdown to Ecstasy. And, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. There's a little bit of stuff down here on the on the bottom corner. You can see right there just a little bit of, of nothing. But it's a white label promo. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to beat that. You know, and it sounds incredible. Another one that I got out of this collection. A little bit of damage here, right here along the bottom here. But the Royal Scam, um, it's amazing. It sounds great. And uh, it's an OG. And then I've even got this is the 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 one album that won the shootout um, when uh, Mike at the In Groove did the shootout for Asia, and this is the one. It's AB1006, um, and this is what this is, AB1006, and that's the that's the one. I mean, he put that up against. You know, mobile fidelity and all that stuff and I actually believe it too because I do have the mobile fidelity of this this is actually in near mint condition um, the record and the and the cover um, now we've got another one an original this is an original if if it's not an original I, I don't know what else it is but it's an original Jimi Hendrix are you experienced which is their debut album um, and look at the condition of this. It's unbelievable. It just really is. That is I got to pull the record out and show you. Here's the, here's the back of it. Uh, there we go. And here is the record. On reprise. You can see how clean that is because ultrasonic cleaning. I hate to keep harping on that, but it is the that is the key to the future, I believe, for for everything. And that's why the whole but there's a whole new bunch of them coming out, um, and they all have different packaging and all this kind of stuff. But I still think that ultrasonic 40 hertz is the is the benchmark of where you need to be. Um, get that. All right. The other day, I was actually playing this in the background. This is a, this is a bootleg. It says uh, Aerosmith Live. And this is a great album, and it's got all the hits on it. Um, it's a double album, um, so it sounds incredible. And we have lots of lots of length to it. This is somebody I've heard people talk about, and um, I have not I've not spun this yet. But um, I, it's, in, it's in another one in beautiful shape. Like I said the other day, I, I, these aren't going in my, in my uh, system or in my collection without being in incredible shape. And this is no, no uh, difference. But um, I, haven't, I haven't heard uh, you know, any of his stuff, Warren Zevon, but uh, he's got a, a big following. He's been, had a huge career. So he's got to have something there. I mean, leave me some information uh, that you know or anything uh, in the in the comments right down here. I appreciate it. All right, here's another one. Alice Cooper, Killer. And uh, just just to let you know, that's a python on the front. That's no killer. That just <laughs> I mean, if it is going to kill you, it'd have to constrict you and have to be big enough that you couldn't get out of it. But, uh, and they do get big. I mean, depending on the python, like a, re a reticulated python, is, I, they, they can get up to 30 feet long. So, um, but that, that actually looks like a Burmese python. I used to really be into snakes for a while. Um, okay, so we've got Black, uh, Fleetwood Mac, Black Magic Woman. And this has got a little bit of wear, a little bit of edge wear, but it's in, it's in really tip-top shape too. Um, uh, the record album sounds great. Um, so that's early Fleetwood Mac. This is interesting because I found this and it's in great shape. Um, it's American Graffiti. This, the music and the songs, I guess, songs. And there's some, uh, there's also some uh, uh, dialogue in here from the movie, uh, which, I, which I grew up with and I love that. 
So, that. All right, obviously, you know I'm a big Prince fan, because you can see my box set right there of Prince, or not Prince, <laughs> I've lost my mind. That's the police, and that's Sting right there. That's Sting's box set right there, uh, right behind the Chris Cornell right there. I'm kind of getting my finger messed up, but there, right there, that's Sting. And that's the box set. But here is Synchronicity. And this is a great album. Everybody's got this in their collection. And in another, uh, I, 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 you know, one of the things I'm working on is... Um, Working on getting getting the fat out of my my uh, my collection. I I think a lot of us get get caught up with the volume, and we really start liking all these volumes and volumes, and have these different um, you know genres all together and all this kind of stuff. And they they kind of try to make a thick collection. But for me, you know, I listen to music in a way that my it's mood driven for me, um, and uh, I know a lot of people don't do that, but uh, for me it, it, it is, and, and I'm really, this year I'm gonna really, this, this coming year that in 2023, I'm gonna really try to get most of my duplicates gone, keep the very best copies of everything, get a couple, maybe one or two variants, and then everything else I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of because uh, it's just, it's a tremendous amount of volume. The only way you don't realize it is that you just keep bringing more and more records into your collection and all of a sudden you have to move. And I recently moved and man, I mean, I could not believe how many boxes I filled. Um, so amazing. All right, speaking of amazing, all these things are being repressed and this is animals. This is, you know, uh, this is Pink Floyd animals. And they're all being repressed. It's actually a very cool, um, uh, very cool, uh, what do you call it, a label. Very unusual. Let's see if you can see it without any glare on it. But that's an amazing condition for the age of it and stuff like that. You know, some of these people, I believe this guy was doing what we're doing as far as uh, vinyl community and we, we just get collections and keep collecting and collecting and collecting. I believe that's the way this guy was doing when uh, the guy who I've picked his collection. And uh, I believe that he's been, um, he was doing this for years and years and he's, that's why I have a lot of duplicates in there of, of certain albums. But anyway, this is probably the best Wheels of Fire cream I have ever seen in my life. These, these are usually roached, uh, the covers, and the cover of this is just absolutely striking. It's amazing. Look at that. Look at the detail in that. It's just amazing. And uh, the inside's equally amazing. Pretty incredible, right? And one of the albums there, I've got the other one in the sleeve, but there's one right there and there's the Atco label. Um, and we'll put that back there. All right, another one that everybody's got, Deep Purple Machine Head, um, OG. I mean, these are, that's amazing. I think this is, I don't know if this is a repress or not. Let, let me know in the, in the comments. This is the, it's got the Burbank label on it uh, right there. And that may, may, may be a repress, it might not be. I found a really great shaped piano, man. This cover is always truly roached. And there's, there's a little bit of damage right down here, but the, to the most part, it's in pretty great shape. For, for as old as it is, it's an OG too, see? And we have a Blonde on Blonde, Bob Dylan. And this is one of the most wanted or requested albums. And I wish people would stop getting in this habit of putting their name on this thing because um, I hate that when they do that. But anyway, this might be a repress too. I'm not sure if it's an original repress, but it's in, it's in great shape too. 
Um, I've actually played that and it sounds great. They just started repressing this. I noticed this is uh, the Chad's bunch over there at Acoustic Sounds, I think, is repressing all these, these Jethro Tulls. And look at I me, mean, look at the condition of that. I mean, this is really striking. All right. And we've got two more Billy Joel turnstiles. This is another one, great shape, OG. And then we got we got Stephen Bishop. And uh, I love Stephen Bishop. He sets sets a great mood. Um, when when you're in the right mood and in the in the late afternoon and you're just trying to get through the rest of the day, you know, turn him on and it kind of takes you away. From it all but anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i've got like i said i've got more to make i've got to probably make another one tomorrow and the next day and stuff like that but um i appreciate you guys uh sticking with me this long please like and subscribe if you can um i'd appreciate it it helps the channel grow um and uh we'll see you very 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 soon all right talk to you soon later